Welcome back to the Northern Kentucky Norse. Our program became bowl eligible for the first time last week, and now it's time to see if we can land ourselves back into the top 25, which we were able to do. We're sitting at number 25 in the country. We also got Terry Jackson and Dante Lewis to both commit to the school. Both of these guards had a good visit week, and so did Troy Brown, but it wasn't enough to get the 6'5 five, five-star prospect to commit to the school. Oh well, we'll end up getting him soon. This week we're taking on FAU, and it's a road game and their 13 overalls better than us, so they could definitely give us some trouble but take a look at this mason bean is back into the heisman watch he's fourth in the country for passing yards and the qbs rushed for nine touchdowns this season as well he's playing great and right now we're sitting at number two in the conference our rivals western kentucky lost last week so that jumped us to number two and right now in the top 25 we're behind louisville who we beat earlier in the season we're also behind cincinnati who we beat earlier in the season but oh well hopefully we'll end up moving up if we can win this week it's time to get into our game today, and we always struggle on the road, so this could be a long one. I have got to say, FAU Stadium is absolutely beautiful. I think it looks pretty cool. Hopefully, we'll be able to come out and get the win today. We're starting off with Jamari Brown on the kick return. He did not put us in great field position, but here we go. Mason Bean on the QB wrap. Not a good first play for your Norse, but it's a long game, and we're hitting Adrian Nelson in the seam. Unfortunately, he couldn't hold on to that, and now we have a third and 11. Come on. That's a dot. The freshman's been arguably one of our best wide receivers this year. I'm pitching it to Adrian Nelson right here. That clearly did not work out. And here on third and eight, I'm going to roll out. And nothing really seems open. I'm throwing it with Mason Bean. And Nick Ogenova can't hold on to it. Not a good first offensive drive. I'm telling you all, we always struggle on the road. It looks like FAU is going to be a run-heavy team. That could be a problem for us. Oh, my gosh. Trayvon Faulkner, make the tackle. Come on. They just scored on the first play. Are you kidding me? Malcolm Davidson, he's their best player, and he's going to be destroying us all game. I definitely didn't think we'd give up a touchdown on the first play, though. Fortunately for us, it is a long game, so there's a lot of time left, but... No, no, no. This is going to go down as one of the worst starts in school history. What was I thinking with that read? I honestly have no words right now. I cannot believe we're playing this bad. Mason Bean, pitch it. Let's go, Adrian Nelson. Another third down. Let's see what we can do here. Adrian Nelson, that's a dot. Hold on to it. Of course he drops it. I cannot believe how bad this game has been for us so far. That's a good gap shoot. Come on. The comeback starts now. It's going to be a long game. There's plenty of time left. Here on second down, Devin Dixon can't bring down the QB. But again, there's plenty of time left. So there's no reason to worry yet. They're just taking the flat. Here on second and two, another pass. Another pass to the flat. Kenneth Webb bring him down. And it looks like I'm going to have to respect the flats. They're being pretty annoying with all these slow little check downs. Come on, someone bring him down. I got to say, there is something about these games. That was a nice play there. But again, there's something about these late conference games that are on the road that are just hard to win in this game. All right, third and five. Another flat. I couldn't get out there. Come on. Nick Morgan can't make the tackle. I knew where that last play was going. I just couldn't do anything about it. We've had two really nice tackles for loss on this drive. Come on. Good second and 14. We put him in a box. And here on third and 14, we just need to not let him get the first down. And come on. Someone stop him. There we go. We're holding them to three. And it's a three possession game. Here on first and 10, it looks like they're bringing the blitz. I was right. We're going to throw Tony Hines and he drops it. Mason Bean is one for eight right now. That's another thing. Anytime he's been on the Heisman watch, he's just come out and not played as well. Come on, Robert Burns. Another drop. I cannot with this team right now. Here on third down, though, Daquan Green holds on to the ball. At least he seems like he wants to play for us. Now we're hitting Robert Burns on the halfback screen. Here's some life in us. It is still just the start of the second quarter. There is plenty of time left. And what a bad overthrow by Mason Bean. Third and 10 here. They brought the blitz. I'm rolling out. Oh my gosh, I couldn't get it off. And we had to punt back to them again. We couldn't even pin them back very far. Come on. I honestly have no words to describe this game right here. Oh my gosh, they had a deep route open. But it's third and three. Hopefully we can get the stop. I couldn't get into that gap. No, why did it make me run like that? Someone bring him down. This is bad. They get ball to start the second half as well. We're going to need something. Come on. No, how are we getting burned deep? We're going to watch Trayvon Faulkner on this play, who's supposed to be playing a deep middle third. He just sits there instead of playing that deep route. Wonderful. The comeback begins now. I am sick of how this game has started. It's time to come out and throw some dots. Here we go. Great. Mason Bean is hurt as well. It's time to burn the red shirt on Jared Jackson. I'd rather have him in over Corey Cottle. So here we go. The freshman QB is in. On his first snap, he's just going to throw the flat to Tony Hines. Come on. Oh my gosh. Mason Bean's not even going to be out for that long. I just burnt a red shirt for nothing. 
Whatever. Come on, Jared Jackson. Throw a dot to Nick Ojanovic. We're just going to leave him in for right now so we don't risk further injury on Mason Bean. I got Jamari Brown on the field right here running a little drag route. Let's hit Jamari Brown, the cornerback. Come on. And on third and one, we need to pick up the first down here. And look at that. Jamari Brown open again with the juke move. Oh my gosh, what a spin move. And Mason Bean is now back onto the field. Honestly, Jared Jackson was not doing bad at all. So now we're going to roll out with Mason Bean though. Just hit. Tony Hines in the flat. And now we're setting up a QB run for Mason Bean. Come on, you gotta get into the end zone here, buddy. I can't believe we wasted that red shirt still. Mason Bean wasn't even out for that long. And I think he's just gonna scramble in right here. He's not fighting. Third and goal. If we don't get in right here, we're in trouble. Come on, I'm gonna hit Robert Burns in the flat. He is not gonna get a catch. Mason Bean's four for 18. And we have gotta get into the end zone right here. Come on, make the right read. Mason Bean, he's short. I'm gonna try to scream into this gap. We need a big play here. Oh my gosh, get the safety, come on. Ryan Clayton, make the tackle. This is the worst game in program history. I'm convinced. We've just shown no life in our program at all. Come on, there's a sack. I need to somehow figure out how to get points on the board before the end of the half. Good defense right there, Travis Silva, make the tackle. This is a big third down here. They just handed it off. Come on, bring down the running back, timeout. There's still a chance to put points on the board before the end of the half. Jamari Brown on the outside. Come on, keep fighting. Mason Bean has had a rough game. I'm about to bring in Jared Jackson. If he can't do anything on this drive, that's literally what I'm gonna have to do. All right, Mason Bean, sling it deep. There we go, Tony Hines. But honestly, the freshman was playing really well for his first game ever. Come on, Mason Bean, I need a dot. Five for 20. I just don't understand how a Heisman candidate can play this bad. Come on, read option. We are gonna need to get into the end zone here. Hand it off to Robert Burns. There we go. We're honestly behind by so much. I feel like we have to go for it here. That's a dot to Nick Ojanovic. And this is where the comeback begins. We're gonna need to come out and get a stop on defense to start off the second half. If we don't, this could be a long game. I'm stuck on the defensive tackle, but there we go. Kenneth Webb forces the fumble. That is a good defensive play. I know it didn't lead to anything, but it's good for our defense. Come on. We can't just be giving up plays like that. Good stop on the running back. Of course he broke the tackle. We've definitely got to know the name Malcolm Davidson, but we have good defense here. Devin Dixon, bring the QB down. And on third and two, we're sending a blitz. We gotta stop this run. There we go. Fortunately for us, they're just gonna punt us the ball back. And this is where the comeback can continue. Good defense right here. Mason Bean's gonna have to make an amazing throw. Bryce Oliver with the catch. This has not been a Heisman performance for him. Hopefully he's starting to figure things out. Throwing a dot to Robert Burns right here. And now the goal is to roll out right here and throw a dot to Tony Hines. I got sacked. And all of a sudden, we're in a bad situation again. Mason Bean, you're gonna have to roll out. Make a play for us here. And he fumbled. Of course he had to fumble. Is it bad that I'm seriously considering benching our Heisman candidate, Mason Bean, right now? We burnt the red shirt. We might as well use it. All right, good defense right here. Of course the QB's getting a first down. We are in a bad situation right now. Second and 10, Jamari Brown, make the tackle, come on. I can't blame this game on our defense, but they have not played well. Nick Morgan, make the tackle. Holding them to three there isn't the end of the world. We're not out of this game yet. Mason Bean, you've got to save your career right here. You need some dots. Of course, he was out of bounds, so it doesn't count. Instead, we get a legal touching, and now it's second and 15. Nothing is going our way. Bryce Oliver, nope. I'm telling you all, we struggle on the road for whatever reason. They're getting a blitzer in. Mason Bean making plays. Okay, that was a good one. He didn't keep the drive alive yet, but we're in a better position here to pick up the first down. And that's another pick. Are you kidding me? Mason Bean with three turnovers on the day. Ryan Clayton's missing tackles. Trayvon Faulkner, bring him down. Our Norse are definitely getting humbled right now. This is a tough one to watch. Second and 10, another run, read option. It's gonna work out. Travis Silva can't make the tackle. Trayvon Faulkner misses the tackle. And we are going down 26 to FAU. Jared Jackson, you're coming into the game for Mason Bean. We're gonna get the freshman some experience because right now, this game's not going too well for us. Jamari Brown, good return. All right, Jared Jackson, you're rolling out. Can you throw throws like Mason Bean? Yes, you can. That was more an amazing catch by Jamari Brown. Look at that. And he got the foot in. It got reversed, there we go, they gave us the catch. Can we talk for a minute about this throw like that? And then Jamari Brown catching the ball, holding onto it like that, and getting a foot down. This game may not be going how we want it to, 
but at least we can say that we have a bright, bright future. Oh my gosh, throw a dot, Jared Jackson. Throw a dot to Tony Hines. We're completely out of this game, but at least we're getting to see our freshman QB. He's come out and he's done pretty well so far. They're going with the read option here. I'm pretty sure FAU put up 34 on us last year as well. We were able to get the win in that game. This year, we're not doing well. I do remember playing them last year, though. It was senior night, and Trinell Troutman and PJ Blue had an amazing end to their senior career. They might have only had one season at NKU, but they were beast on the field for us. Here on third down, are we going to get the stop? Bad user. Come on, make the tackle, and they're putting us the ball back. You would think that this game is over, but I guess you really never know. Adrian Nelson on the corner route, creating separation right there. And here on first and 10, I'm going to roll out with Jared Jackson. Oh my gosh, I had reads open. I'm going to throw this one though. Tony Hines drops it. I've never seen someone have as bad of drop issues as he does. All right, we're going to throw it up to Tony Hines again though. Is that a dot from Jared Jackson? And that was Walter Darwin, my bad. He's tiny like Tony Hines. All right, we're starting to move the ball down the field, I got to say. I'm impressed with how the team is playing, rolling out, and there's a dot. Oh my gosh, Davis Burns catches the touchdown. Whoever Davis Burns is, it's only a two possession game. FAU is definitely gonna try to run the clock out. Ryan Clayton, make the tackle. We just need one stop on third and six, and this is the defense for it. I can't lie, I was expecting a run, but they came out and passed, but we're locking that up. I did go ahead and burn our first time out. Probably not the smartest of decisions, but oh well, I panicked. And here we go, Jamari Brown. Put us in good field position. Oh my gosh, a kick return here would be huge. This is why you always stay till the end of every episode, because you never know what's going to happen. I might have had a touchdown. We're just going to take off with Jared Jackson, though. I am scared to throw certain passes with this freshman QB, but I guess we got to start slinging it. What a dot to Daquan Green. I got to say, he's put us in a decent position right here. Nothing's open. Throw it away. All right. It looks like a blitz. I'm just going to throw it. Come on, hold on to it, Adrian Nelson. And all of a sudden, we are only down five. We can still come back and win this game. It's a long shot, of course, but I didn't expect anything to happen when I put Jared Jackson in. All right, here we go. First run, read option. We're stopping that. Second down, another run, I'm assuming. Come on, get out there, Travis Silva. Bring him down. All right, third and 10. Hopefully, they'll pass it. I'm assuming they're going to run it, though, because running it would just burn the clock, but they actually passed it. We can't let him complete a pass. The clock is going to run, but we are going to get the ball back with about 15 seconds left. I don't think that's enough time to do anything, but you never know. We could get a big kick return with Jamari Brown or something as well. All right, the clock is ticking. Jamari Brown, can you do this for the program? You don't have the speed. It's definitely weird not having Mason Bean on the field right here, but I think we've made the right choice. Oh my gosh, Jared Jackson, that's not a dot. I thought he delivered one. Now we're in a tough situation. They're pressing Tony Hines. Maybe that'll get us somewhere. Maybe. Oh my gosh, come on, go. He dropped it. He really just dropped that. That could have been game. He was literally gone. I think that was game. I have no words. Jared Jackson just throws it up on the final play and that's it. I think Tony Hines really just blew the game for us right there. But if you take a look at the QB performances, Jared Jackson severely outperformed Mason Bean. I have no clue who we're going to end up starting next week. Tony Hines was somehow our best receiver, even with three drops. We had eight total drops as a team today, and you're just never going to win a game like that. Ryan Clayton had 11 tackles. Devin Dixon had three tackles for loss, and Travis Silva and Trayvon Faulkner both had two. And Nick Young, Kenneth Webb, and Devin Dixon all got a sack as well. Our defense put up a lot of great stats. It wasn't enough to get the win because of how bad our offense was. But I'll see you all in the next episode when we take on Marshall, who's at the top of our conference.